Hey guys, it's Tampa Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to store music on your Android Wear device. With the new update, 5.1, if you updated your app, Android Wear, on your phone, you should have a new update on your Android Wear device, 5.1. If you don't, go ahead and update it now. And this will give you a whole bunch of options. Lock screen, it'll give you options to have a Bluetooth devices on your Android Wear so you can play music on your Android Wear device, like an MP3 player, without your phone. Your phone can be turned off and you can actually store music on your watch and listen to music straight from your watch on your Bluetooth headset, which is really cool. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And I'm wearing my Stanley Cup playoff shirt. Tampa Bay Lightning are in the Stanley Cup. Now to download music from your phone to your watch, so your watch works as an uh, independent MP3 player and you can connect it to any uh, Bluetooth headset, which is cool if you're at a gym or something and your phone dies, um, this is what you do. Go to the update your Android Wear app to 5.1, update your watch to 5.1. It'll give you a pop-up screen once you uh, update the app over here on the phone. And then click on, make sure you're connected right here. You want to connect to the right watch, of course. And right here, click on the gear. Make sure you disconnect any watch that you're not using, I disconnected my old watch, the LG R watch, get back. I connected my LG Urban watch, and it's on. And all these are checked. And I want to resync my apps just in case. And get back. Back. And for the play music. Right, make sure that is selected. Hit OK. Hit back. Now you want to update the Play Music app on the Google Play Store. And then you want to go to oops, you go back. You want to go to the menu settings. And then hit settings right here. And then I have all this checked. But the main thing you have to have checked is right here. Download to Android Wear. And back again. Click on your playlist that you created, your favorite music. And you'll notice a little button right here. Looks like an arrow facing down. Click on that. And it'll start downloading. And make sure this is on the charger, your watch is on the charger, and your phone is on the charger as well, just in case, you know, the battery dies. And this is going to take probably like an hour or so. so. At this point, you might have, at the end, it'll say, you know, completed or whatnot. You'll see right here. There it is. It's downloading 4% so far. But this may take up to an hour. You'll get like maybe one song, like, you know, the first five minutes. And then, like, you'll get a couple more songs. But once it's completed, you may have to restart your watch and restart the phone. If it does not work, this is what I had to do. If it does not work, you have to remove, uninstall the download, and then reinstall it by clicking this to remove it, and then clicking it again to re-download to your watch. And that works for me. So right here, here's my both my watches. They both have the new update, 5.1. So they should be able to store music on the 4 gig uh, storage and uh, play music using the Bluetooth speaker. And you can store quite a few Bluetooth devices like a headset or a Bluetooth speaker and so on. So let's go ahead and give it a whirl. So let's start from scratch. So you can see that symbol right here. That means it's disconnected from the phone. So this is basically working independently like an MP3 player and connected Bluetooth to my speaker. So let's give it a whirl. I'm going to click on play music, right here, swipe up, all tracks, and there's my songs. And it took like, a, like maybe an over an hour for it to load all my songs. Hit play, no audio devices detected, so click on that. I'm going to look for Bose, so I want to turn on the Bose, hit the Bluetooth. Uh, connected Bluetooth should be connecting right now. There we go. All right, so now it's connected. Touch it again. Play music. Swipe up. You can swipe down. You can do 
all the way right here. Let's play a, a song. So we're gonna play a song right here. Let's swipe up. It's paused right now. Maybe I have to hit the volume. That's why the volume was all the way down. So anyhow, yeah, it works, and you can control the volume through here, which is really cool. I can't play the whole song or else I get sued. But let me go ahead and show you. I can fast uh, skip track, and so you can see that works, which is really cool. All right, so now if it doesn't work for you, you have to try again. That's what I had to do. And basically, I just uninstalled it by clicking on that button right here, and then hit it again, and it re-downloads to your watch. This basically works on any Android Wear device that has four gig storage or room for it to actually have music stored onto the watch itself and Bluetooth connectivity. So if this video was informative and it helped you out, give me a thumbs up. And if you want more videos coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech. And if you know anyone that this video may help, click on the share button below and share it to Facebook or G Plus or even your tech blog. And also stay tuned for the review on my LG Urban Watch, how to set it up and reset it and all the cool things that it does.